I have a fan. I don't. Well, it's cornbread. Hey. Work. Work. Um, and what is Brooke using today? Uh, that would be my card activation pamphlet from Instacart. <laughs> I always thought about Instacart. You know what? I wish. Dr. Dr. Seuss may be out of the running after that. I mean, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Hello, Davos. Hello, Davos. I've been waiting like an, a year and a half. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> that is part of our intro. Hello, Dave Falls, and welcome to the cut. No, I'm not going to continue. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Please. Odd. No. Welcome to the cut, the currently unnamed podcast where we put the real and the tea in reality, and you can always come to us first to quench your thirst. I'm Logan Murphy. Say something gay. Gay, and I'm drinking water. That's all. I forgot to get something else to drink before this recording. <laughs> the moment. We love it. And hello, and... Hello, I am Lana, your resident diva, here to give the tea, spill the tea, and drink the tea because you know I love me some tea. Her. And if you have some tea, you know what to do. Hit me up. And I, too, am just drinking water because hydration is important, and water gives me my clear and luscious skin, so I need to keep that together. Purr. <laughs> but if I was drinking anything, <laughs> I would be drinking it out of my cup mug. Yeah. We love to see it. We love to see it. Cup mug. Mine is downstairs, so that's why I don't have it with me. It's fine, though. How but it's, a, How it's, a, it's, a, it's okay. As long as you have one. But if you're like some people who don't have one and you want to get you one, you can get yours at com. The link is in the description below. And guess what? We do ship internationally. So there are no excuses. I'm looking at you, UK. I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Get your cup mug. Burn. Work. I am Brandon, your professional fangirl of Constance Dragon video games. I am also drinking water. However, it's across the room, so I'm going to grab it. So... <laughs> Run, Brandon, run. Right. <laughs> there we go. Ooh. You know, season four was pretty okay, but I'm hoping season five is going to be much better. My name is Don Stone. Actually, no, it's not. It's Kev. Um, I don't know. <laughs> We're here. I've been up since 1 a.m. and it's 8 o'clock p.m. We're here. Work. Are you fully here? Physically. Work. Mentally, maybe somewhere else. Who knows? Hmm. Uh, and it's Brooke, your favorite UK hoe. I don't know the UK in this uh, stance stands for unfunny kleptomaniac. Uh, and I'm so <laughs> excited to be here to talk about the cast of UK5 here today. Wow. Okay. I'm Esme and something witty, something witty. Um, <laughs> I... Witty pepper, you know what I mean? <laughs> something witty, something witty. I am Hello. drinking my sparkling water out of my cup mug. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I love A this real drink. one this time. Ooh. I love this okay. drink. Oh, I love this drink. <laughs> I love this drink. <laughs> Ooh. And yes. Ooh. <laughs> and at yes. Least, at least I didn't bonk my fucking elbow this time. Ooh. Like you did twice. <laughs> in the <big> recording. <laughs> oh no. But yes, we are here to talk about the new cast for Drag Race England. I mean UK. Wow. They're okay. literally all the bones some boo lashes. I would just like to let the producers of Drag Race UK know that, like, people and drag artists exist outside of England. That's all. That's all. Lana has no clue what we're talking about, and I love it. Um, but yes, we are here talking about the cast of Drag Race UK Season 5. It's back, Divas. RuPaul is back in the UK, Divas. And my Cheryl Hole impression is back, Diva. Oh, no. 
I'm very excited, Diva. Oh, is this going to be a continuing thing? Absolutely, Diva. I am going to leave then. Monica, <laughs> 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 you have, you yeah. have room in your car. I will, I will limit myself to three divas okay. per episode from now on. Okay, well, you Please are no about, diva. I said from, I, the next three from episodes. now on. Kev, I said from now on. Okay, well, you've used the next three episodes. Oh. No, I said three okay. per episode. Anyway. Okay. We're talking about the cast. We have 10 <laughs> fabulous, lovely new queens to talk about for this season yeah. uh, that premieres, who knows? Who because knows? they didn't give us a premiere date, so. Yeah. <laughs> which is fine, which is fine. Presumably sometime soon, mm -hmm. hopefully. Um, but yes, let's just talk about the queen. Alphabetical sure. order, right? What? Alphabetical order, right? Yes, we are going in alphabetical order. Okay. Be a fall. So yeah, they didn't put them in alphabetical order for the Meet the Queens for some reason, which is different and weird. Um, but yeah, we are going to be talking about them in alphabetical order. Which means, first up is Alexis St. Pete, 28, originally from Poland. We don't know what city. I don't think she mentioned what city in Poland. But currently living in London. Esme? I, what do you think? So I'm also looking at the out thing that has all of their things because I have the memory of goldfish. So um I do need to <laughs> look over some of it. But she she's interesting. I don't I think she looks fun. I don't know how far I expect her to go on this season, to be quite honest. Um she seems fun, but I didn't get like the <clears throat> I wanted from her in her promo, at least for me. I don't know how the rest of y'all feel. Um this look is fun. Um I love an orange look. I think I will always say I loved an orange. Um, I there's some stuff about it that I don't fully love. I don't. I don't know. There's just stuff about it that are is not my favorite, but it's not my least favorite. And I think it's still a good promo look. I think she'll do okay. I don't know how far she'll go though. Brooke. Um, yeah, Alexis is definitely someone I could see doing well. Uh, I don't think she's going to do too, too well. I don't see her winning the season just based off of her initial impressions. Um, I actually really like this outfit. Um, I don't know the right word, but whatever the connecting piece of fabric is between the uh, boot and the, uh, the torso portion is very pleasing to my eyes. Um, uh, yeah, I... I she, I enjoyed her in the Meet the Queens. I do worry for her just because we know historically when you're coming on to a franchise um, that is not your native country, has not historically done well. But, you know, we'll see how it turns out for her. I hope the best for it. Alexis St. P. Your last name, it rhymes with sweet. Um, no, it's, it don't got that reference. Yeah. I love you. But, um, uh, I like this. You know what? I'm going to just make an overall statement. Down under season two, this is how you do metallic. Um, <laughs> just saying, just saying. But no, I love these boots. I love the straps that are, I, I don't know if they're, they're not boots. They're like leg garters. They're um, like metallic chaps connected to the bodysuit, but don't yeah. connect to the shoe. Yeah. I like it, but I don't like that it doesn't connect to the shoe. Um, but I like this outfit. I like her vibes. I like what she's giving. Um, and I love Poland. Mm -hmm. um, question. St. Pete in relation to St. Petersburg or no? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Um, I looked it up. Uh she changed her name when she moved to this like comedy thing in UK and she picked Saint because she thought it meant sinner because she didn't get English. And then oh. Pete is from her uh out of drag, her birth name is Peter. Oh so it's Saint Pete. Oh. Yeah. And then Alexis okay. was the character she played in that show. So Alexis. Saint Interesting. Pete. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, I love that. Thanks for the tea. I love that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Like no, actually <laughs> I agree with Brooke. I actually love how like the the boot is buckled in with the bodysuit because it's like that like drawn my that drawn my eye of course not because it's a crotch area but it's just like oh work. 
Listen. I mean, not not because it's a crotch area. <clears throat> Listen, anyways, um, like the face is giving too. Like I'm like her face, like just giving that attitude, just work. Love it. I will say this, Miss Saint Pete got my attention from the Greek the Queens. She was one of the people that jumped at it me. I was like, oh, actually like her. And just quickly, just briefly scrubbing through her Instagram, I think she's going to be somebody who is amazing. That's probably what I'm going to talk about, just briefly going through their Instagrams. So I won't, so nobody else do that because I'm doing that. So I'm just putting that out there now. Anybody else mention Instagram and be like, look here. I just said I'm doing it. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but no, looking through her Instagram, I think she has a really good, she has some looks. She, she's going to be somebody who's going to be, I don't know. I agree with Esme. I don't know how far she's going to go in this competition, but I think when she, at, however far she's going to go, she's going to give us something. She's going to give us some looks. She's going to give us something. Her, her personality seems real kind of wild, fun. So I can't, I, I, I'm excited to see what she brings. I enjoyed her. I do love that you're the one scrubbing through the Instagrams when you are the one scheduled to judge the Instagram review video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that'll make everything interesting for us. Um, I will probably also start all of the next queens with uh, bits and pieces from their Meet the Queens so we can start that way as well. Um, but talking a little bit about what Alexis told us in her Meet the Queens, uh, obviously she's from Poland and so she's able to now fully express her queerness living in London, which I'm so happy for her in that regard. Mm -hmm. um, she came to the UK to be a ballet dancer and now is a drag queen. Um, she said she is the split kicks, dips kind of gal, which I'm very excited to see. Um, and she said she was obsessed with Alan Carr, which I think is just very funny. Um, <laughs> given recent news about Alan and another drag queen <laughs> it, it's interesting um as far as this promo i actually really enjoy the promo i don't think it's the most grandiose thing we've ever seen in the world um but i do really like it i think i'm not comparing her to this person specifically but i think she lives in the same drag universe as nikki doll mm -hmm. um I'm getting that kind of vibe mm -hmm. definitely not the same kind of queen at all but i think they're on the same drag planet um, Ooh, with Pandora Knox too. With Pandora that. Knox, I would definitely put Pandora mm -hmm. Knox in there as well. I was gonna say Jasmine Kennedy and Lemon. I mm. would also put both of them on that mm. same drag planet. So, yeah, and none of them are the same queen at all, which at is all. New York City. <laughs> a, a little bit. Um, I do love. I love. Um, the the theme apparently was like um, just all monochromatic again because every queen is in a monochromatic look, which is something they've already done for a UK promo. I think it's interesting. I haven't seen anything else about the promo specifically, but I really like Alexis. I think she's lovely. I don't know. With this cast, I don't know how she's going to stack up. I think she's a great queen. I looked at her Instagram as well. I won't go into it like Lana has, um, but I think she's very talented. I think with just with this cast, this cast is skewing a little bit more comedy waka waka, as Eve would say. So I'm interested to see what she what she brings. So scores for Alexis, starting with Esme. I'm gonna give Alexis Saint Pete Davidson a <laughs> seventy-two. Uh, I'm going to give Alexis a sensible seventy-four. I'm going to give. Um, Alexis St. Pete Buttigieg, a good um, 95. I don't know who that is, but I know the name. Oh my god, he's the sec he is the secretary of transportation, the transportation. transportation. yeah, Word. and also a homosexual. I knew that, yeah, homosexual, <laughs> yeah, homosexual. <laughs> he, he ran for president. I'm um, 80. You're homosexual. homosexual. Uh, I'm going to give him. Alexis St. Pete, a 83. I'm mad none of y'all made this reference, but I'm going to give a little bit of Alexis St. Pete <gasps> an 80 as well. Oh, I'm mad at myself for not making that reference. I'm mad at you for that, too. <laughs> I went as her for Halloween once, so I'm upset that I didn't go. <laughs> Next uh, up, Banksy, 23, originally from Wigan, but currently living in Manchester. Uh, from her Meet the Queens, we heard... Sorry, Esme. I'm, I'm going to do the... Yeah, I'm interrupting you. I'm sorry. No, um, no, we, found out, 
Thank you. We found out from her Meet the Queens that she is a fashion girl. She's over seven feet tall in heels. Um, her drag style is very burlesque, 1940s. She related herself to like a dark, horrible woman with a wine glass and a cigarette throwing her wine on someone, which I think is lovely. Um, and in her Meet the Queens, she talked about really wanting to disrupt the idea of drag that we've seen on the show. So, Banksy. I'm gonna bank on Banksy. Um, she seems really interesting. Um, I don't love this look. I've seen, I also scroll to Instagrams. I like most of her other looks on her Instagram a lot more than I like this look. This looks like a decomposing shower loofah. Um, <laughs> We're not bringing no, I can't. Fast right now. We are <laughs> no, not I can't unsee it. I can't unsee it, oh my God. But um, I do, Think she'll be fun. I think she she has a chance to like shape up some stuff. I think she'll bring some really interesting looks. I think she'll be something that I will want to watch out for because I like kind of that. My style that I'm drawn to and dry is what I'm like more realizing is like kind of that more like avant garde. They try to change shit. I don't fully know how to describe it, but I think she fits into that drag planet that I like. So I'm excited for her. Um, first off, I love Banksy's name big fan of that secondly i hope it is not just i am tall and i am pretty i want there to be more than that and again we only have seen like a minute and a half of her so not saying that is what it is i just want there to be more uh and i'm hoping there's more uh yeah also not a big fan of this look it's giving me like uh half a sleeping bag with like without the utica glamour on it so there's that um and also, I really don't like that wig. <laughs> I hate that wig. Um, okay. I find it, I, I like, I think she's a very interesting queen. Uh, again, I don't even have Instagram to look at right now, so I'm literally going based off solely just the promo. Um, cool. She seems very, very interesting. I don't really understand how she's saying that she wants to break boundaries of drag and wants to do a lot of different stuff. And she's presenting herself this way. Not saying that that, but you know, when we've seen somebody like Charity Case or somebody who like, you know, on Drag Race who has really broken those boundaries, I'm interested to see if she has more of that side to her. Um, also like in the face, um, if y'all are on TikTok, she kind of looks like Saltina Shaker a little bit. And I kind of love that. Like she looks <laughs> like Saltina Shaker. Mm -hmm. Like, but I kind of live, I like that she's tall because I'm tall. Um, so she's coming for my gig and I don't appreciate it, but, um, yeah. How tall are you with heels? Six, seven or six, eight. Oh, wow. And so like the fact that there's a set, yeah. And the fact that there's a set and she's seven feet in heels, I'm just like, oh. Yeah, that's four inches taller than me when I'm in heels. Damn. Like, um, the face is giving death stare and I love it. <laughs> Like in this in this post, because like it's like she's literally staring at my soul, and I'm like, work. Um, no, I do agree. This outfit's like meant to me because like the the um striping feels incomplete for some reason. Even though like it, I know it's supposed to be the style, but it's just like, um, but I'm excited for what she's like. From what Logan mentioned in the the bio, like the whole is was it the wine thing or whatever? <laughs> like I was just like that cracked me up so. I'm excited for this. Somebody mentioned something in the comments on the YouTube where I was I watched this and the Beat the Queens and I was like, oh, and they and I was like, it does, she does. She remind they said she looked, they said they I want to see Banksy and Gabriella Labucci in the same picture. And I was like, I saw that. Yes. I was like, I she does remind me of Gabriella Labucci. Uh but <laughs> that's not a bad thing because I love me some Gabriella Labucci. So that's great. I agree. The outfit ain't given what it needs to be given, but she is, is, is exciting. That She's exciting to me. After I just scrolled quickly through her Instagram because I don't want to look too hard, but I scrolled through it. I was like, yes, this girl is interesting to me and I can't wait to see what she does. Well, I will sit here as the only defender of this outfit because I really enjoy the garment. Um, <laughs> and I will tell you why. Work, Diva. I will, <laughs> thank you. Um, I will tell you why. 
I I love I love anyone that takes religious themes and kind of throws them on their head a little bit. And she's doing a little bit of that here with with the crown of thorns. I wish it was a little bit more exaggerated. I wish there was more jeweling on the crown. Um, but I like what she has there, like, as it is. I really like the way that the garment is actually constructed because it looks like it's made of just several layers of tulle, kind of, like, layered on top of each other in different thicknesses. Um, and then I love the big exaggerated tool at the bottom. I'm actually going to get rid of our lower banner so we can see the bottom of the look as well. Um, I really like the way it's draping at the bottom in this weird, interesting way. And you have that same sort of, um, draping and ruching at the top. I really like it. I understand why people wouldn't, but I do really enjoy it. It's not bad. It's that one little part for me where it's like that big opening in the middle, right? Oh, see, I really like that. Like, I want it to be some pushed up a little bit. Like, I want it to, to be more, like, layered instead of, like, I don't know. It's just... Instead of, like, layered... But your illusion don't enough. match her body, so you need to not see that as much. If it's not matching your skin, I don't want to see it in a big open gap where it's not matching sure. your skin. That. Sure. Mm, but it looks better well, it, on this. It's still, it's, still it's, cover, it's still covered by a layer of tool. And that's what I was saying. I think it's more layered. So that Got part you. only has one layer, whereas some of the other ones, like it's a, it's a, it's a developed thickness of tool wow. from what it looks like, at least. Because you can look at the knee and it's still there. It's less layered there because yeah, you, know, you have it in yeah, the knees. Because yeah. you need to be able to. But Got I get it. it. I get it for Got sure. It. Scores for Banksy. I'm going to get Banksy. Uh, six dates. Sex. Sex. All right. Purely based on the out, based on the garment, uh, and the wig, I'm going to give Banksy a 45. But I do hope, like I like Banksy. Let's be clear. 45. Ooh. 68. It's not a bad garment. I'm gonna give it a 75. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a 90. <laughs> I really Word. like it. Word. And that's this okay. Is the, this is the kind of like artsy fashion interpretation of things that I really personally enjoy. So that's just me being me, being my vulnerable self here. And we're all entitled to our opinions. Okay. Correct. I thought you were about Next. to make a Dr. Holly joke. Not this. Next up, Caramel. Not to be confused with Caramel DeVille from Chicago, but uh, Cara is originally from Atlanta, Georgia. She is, we have two seasons now, Down Under mm -hmm. and UK5 with an American Invasion, which I mean, mm -hmm. uh, but she is 26. Like I said, originally from Atlanta, Georgia, currently living in London. Uh, our second trans woman on Drag Race UK and our first black trans woman on Drag Race UK. So thank you casting. We want more, but thank you. So I already feel um, a soul connection to her. Um, she talked about being a lip sync assassin. She is known for her lip syncing ability, and that is what she's going to do. Um, and she also talked about uh, when she's at the club, making sure that everybody gets crunk, but doing it in a professional manner. So, Caramel, Esme, you go right ahead. She had she came out with the energy that I wanted. She seems very fun, vibrant, and like somebody I'm going to be definitely rooting for this season. Um, I'm definitely, yeah, I'm really excited for her. I'm always definitely excited for, you know, the dolls on the season. Um, so I'm definitely excited to see what she brings to the UK side. Um, Cause I feel like she's gonna mix. She also has like that Atlanta drag, which not all the UK, which is the, not a thing fully in the UK. So I think it'll be interesting seeing like what her drag style kind of looks like compared to the other queens on this season. Um, I'll be excited to see her. I think she has a good chance of making it a pretty deep run in this season. I'm gonna pass it over to Brooke. Um, okay, we do know about the whole UK thing of one, not really having a diverse cast. So I am happy she is here for that, minimum for that reason alone, because it at least gives something other than white queen on UK. Um, secondly, I loved her Meet the Queens. It was so fun. Uh, I just feel like I immediately understood who she is and what she brings with her drag. 
And that's important to me because that's what the Meet the Queens is about. We're supposed to get that first impression to like really form an opinion on somebody or like just try to get who they are early. Um, also, love the outfit. Uh, uh, great. I love it. Also, I love the heart platform she's standing on. I don't know if everybody was standing on that, but I like it. She's standing on it. Yeah, everyone was. Okay, well, she looks great. <laughs> <laughs> I really like her. She seems hilarious, and I kind of love that. I think that just comes with the fact that she has that good Atlanta Southern accent, and I love <laughs> me a good Atlanta Southern accent. Like, like she... I could hear her and Nigeria have a conversation and just live my life just watching it go down. You know what I mean? Like I'd live. Um, and I love that. Well, when she did not commit a sin, she actually wore a cat suit that goes all the way into the foot. And I'm very happy about it. And I love the shoes. Um, I love this outfit. I wish it was a little bit more corseted. Um, but no, I'm obsessed with her. I think she has a great personality. I'm excited to see what she brings to the season. It's the way the part of that cat suit is connected with the shoe. Like that, that Crazy. does it for me. Um, it I'm going to go right off the bat. She did what needed to be done. The drip of this gold paint and the fact that it's like homage to like her name of Caramel. <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. that's, like, the detail that I love about her already. Um, and I love this long braid of, of it all. Like, she's ready to serve. She is ready to serve. She's so good. She was the one that made me, like, <gasps> I mean, of course, because I root for everybody Black. Duh. But the fact that she when she started talking, I was like, Wait a minute, this girl ain't from no UK. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing. I was like, this ain't no UK. Wait a minute. Like, wait a second. Who are you? you? I was like, don't make me choke on my water. I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Now, wait a damn minute. No, like, wait a damn when we're damn saying minute. funny stuff, then, Brandon. <laughs> say, now, wait a Logan, damn minute. I'm a thirsty. Hydration is important. Let him be aware. Okay, then let him drink. Okay, good. So I was like, oh, okay. But then I was listening to it and I was like, oh, she's going she's going to make me laugh. She is going to be somebody I just, I relate to like living in the South now in my life. She is somebody who I feel like I come across every other day and in, in everyday life. Like, hey girl, now I know, right? That's like giving me all of that Southern accent, like I love it. I'm like, I'm here for it. And then I made the mistake of looking at her Instagram. I mean, yeah. this girl is Sierra in her, like, like she looks like Sierra. She's giving me Sierra. And then oh, wow. the looks that she produces when she's just doing her, oh, I am. And then she's like, I can sing, I can dance, I'm a triple threat, I'm a lipstick assassin, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I can't wait. She made me excited to see her perform and see her on this show. So I, I can't wait to see Miss Caramel do her thing, period. I'm thrilled. I truly, I think she brings, she brings something very different to Drag Race UK that I don't think we've ever seen. I think we've been very close to having queens like Kara, and I'm not going to compare her to all of the other amazing, fabulous Black queens that have been on the show, because all of them are individuals, and we should treat them as such, because they are all individuals. Uh, and I already know Kara, and we'll talk about Naomi later, I already know both of them are going to get compared to all of the other Black queens we've had on Drag Race UK, because that's what this fandom likes to do. Regardless, I'm very excited for Kara. This look is not my favorite look of the promo. I'm going to be very honest. It's great. It there's so, I wish everything was just a little bit bigger, maybe. Um, it complements her figure incredibly. Her body looks impeccable. I just want something a little a little bit bigger. That's just me personally. But mm -hmm. I really enjoy her. So. Scores for the Garmont on Similar to Logan, I wish things were a little bit bigger. Um, in the promo video, I think the whatever lighting they used looks makes Bad. the outfit. Bad yeah. lighting. I think what well, I was gonna say, I think the um uh, like because 
each of them have like a little snippet of them like kind of just moving around. And for the reason, like it made it all the same color for her. So like, I don't know if I like that more or less to be quite honest, but uh, I think this is a fun look. I like the concept. I like that it's drippy because it's caramel, um, but I wish it was just pushed a little further. I'm not the biggest fan of the arm cuffs that come up. Like that seems just like, oh, look to me like a more of a last minute edition. I love the hair though. Um, it looked like the kind of also like the end of it like was like dipped in caramel, you know? So I do like this, but I wish it was just pushed and elevated a little bit more. Score. Did, did you score? Did you give a score? Or oh, no, I didn't. Um, I'm going to give it a 70. Um, I'll echo that. I do. It's not my favorite look of the promo, but I do think it looks very stunning. And I, I just love her so much. I want her to do really well. <laughs> The looks in the promo, Mama. Mandela. <laughs> Mandela. <laughs> Sorry, what's that? You gonna, That's my score. My score is Kandala. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Girl, you made up mother for a score. <laughs> I can have Kandala. Oh, it's That's fine. Um, You're just clarifying. Is, yeah. <laughs> my cup is full here. I will give this a 97. I love her. However, comma, for the promo photo and for the garment, I'm going to give Kara an 82. But I really enjoy her. Cool. So. Work. Work. Dee Delicious, our youngest queen on the cast. She is 20 from Kent. Uh, she is the drag sister of a certain sex on that. AKA Crystal Versace, the winner of season three of Drag Race UK. Um, Dee Dee said, if Crystal is sex on legs, she is a clown on stilts. Um, she talked about one of her big personality traits being overthinking everything. Um, and she said she makes most of her wardrobe and has made stuff for Drag Race Queens in the past. I'm pretty sure she made a lot of Crystal's package on season three as well. So. And was featured in Crystal's uh, Wow Presents Plus show, Keeping Up with Crystal Versace. So, the delicious. I'm excited. Um, when she said clown on stilts, uh, my first thought was Eris. Um, <laughs> so, there we go. Um, my only word, my Damn. word is that there is, you know, the, always the. I feel like whenever somebody has self-doubt, they always bring up the inner saboteur um, arc. And I'm nervous she's going to get the inner saboteur arc. And I don't know. I mean, is she going to be able to overcome that like kind of thing? I hope that she does. You know, I always wish for the best. But I can definitely see production pushing kind of that inner saboteur arc for her. Let's hope they don't do a gutted, rotted, nasty-ass um, runway where they have to talk about their deepest, darkest trauma. Um <laughs> And make that into a runway look but i'm excited for her i think she'll be fun um i don't know how far she'll go i think i can see her going like mid to far, like far but i just don't fully know there's always a little fear for me with the people with the queens who are like young younger um but you know crystal Versace did prove me wrong um <laughs> so i'm excited to see her i just don't know how far she's gonna make it I don't want to be the one, but I'm going to be the one. I have this gut feeling that we are currently looking at our first boot. Um, and, and I'm not, no shade, no shade, okay? But historically, shade. okay, and nothing against her, okay? Nothing against her. It is literally just knowing how historically Drag Race likes to do people that are, like, someone's drag family, they either... Make it to the end, a la Diabetti, or they're the first boot, a la Diabetti. So, like, it's one of those, like, <laughs> I'm sorry, or like Vanji the first time. I mean, literally, it's just one of those. I, I want her to do well. I don't know. I don't. I don't have a good gut feeling on this one. I'll be honest. Uh, love the outfit though. 
love the outfit. Brooke really just said, love your hair, hope you win. Um, <laughs> anyways, um, this bitch is mugged. Like, can we just take a second and appreciate just, like, her face literally looks unreal in this photo. Like, it is insane. And in the video, too. If there's one thing that I love about drag, it is the makeup. That is my favorite part overall. So seeing her with this beautiful, snatched, lifted, pinched nose, stunning, gorgeous, amazing, perfect, never been done before, never the same, totally unique, put it in a blender, whatever the rest of it is. Shit on it. Shit on it. Yeah. Vomit on it, shit on it, et cetera. Et cetera. Um, I love this. I love the heel. I love how it's kind of almost a reference to the season three promo with the tertiary colors. Like, I kind of feel like that is a reference to her sister, Crystal. I could be completely wrong there. Love that she sews everything. I've been in this really big phase right now where I just love looking at some queens with some br breastplate on. I don't know why. I just do. Um, but she's campy. I love the hair. She almost gives a little bit of the Vivian as well, which I kind of live for. Like, she kind of gives me that energy, like, of just, like, the clownery of it all. Like, and I kind of live. Like, she has that beauty mug, but just as a clown, and I, I, I'm i obsessed. I'm obsessed. I really love the name Dee Dee Licious. Like, the way that people come up with these names, it's like, how do you do it? <laughs> um, also love how her mug is really similar to Crystal's. So it's like... Uh, and obviously drag family resemblance but like and this but you can you can definitely tell in this one because like dd does less and while crystal does more so it, you can definitely see that yeah i really love this outfit as well something about this how the corset is shaped <clears throat> makes it work for me because like it's <clears throat> like shaped and also like you can see where it's like where it needs to stick out so that's what i love about it I was like this, Kev. If you like her mug, you are going to love this queen. If she can pull this off and what she does on her Instagram, if she can pull this off in the time that's permitted for them to do it, this girl's going to eat every time. She has some makeup looks that are just in, that are so, like her makeup is so good and the way she does it is so good. She's going to be Definitely one of those queens that's so dang pretty that you just can't stand it. She go be so pretty, and this outfit I love it. I kind of she's kind of eaten up with this look with the look that she's had her promo look, and I can't wait. I can't wait. At first, I was like when she first came on the Meet the Queens, I was like, oh no, I hope she's not going to give me the Jimbo vibe that I. Not that Jimbo's bad. I just don't want to have to compare her to Jimbo. And I don't want to do that because that's all I, you know, with my limited knowledge of Queen, she is, that is one of the people that will stick out to me. But then I was like, eh, I don't think she's going to give us that whole clownery that Jimbo gives, which Jimbo does in a great way, by the way. I don't think she's going to give us that. She's going to give us beauty, but her breastplates are not going to be super outrageous where it's, it's the topic of conversation. It's going to be just big enough where it just looks right like her looks it, they just feel right with her and i was like okay so i'm excited to see her hopefully she doesn't do fall into the family trap that they like that y'all say she like they like to fall onto the uk because i think she's sweet i think she's nice i think she was very somebody who i would look to see what she does but i just want to see her face like as much as i can because i want her mug to be beat 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 every single time and if she can do this in the time allotted, oh my goodness, we are in for a treat. I would be really interested, Lana, to see you see her sister Crystal on season three with the mug that she presented on season three. Because I think you similarly would be very, very impressed with what Crystal was able to do on that season with her face. Um, there is a specific combination of traits in a queen where if they have both... I am a big fan, and that's if they are pretty and stupid. And I mean that in the most positive, amazing way, because this queen seems very pretty, and it seems like her drag is very stupid, 
And I love when I when I see those things come together. Like, she's not going to take herself too seriously. She called herself a clown on stilts. I'm obsessed already. Like, looking like this. Looking like, like this. this. Right. It is a combination. <laughs> and I mean everything that I just said in the highest regard. Um, so don't think I'm coming for Didi because nothing of the sort. Um, I love this promo look. The one thing that I would have personally changed is I don't like the high low of the draping fabric coming off of the uh, the bustle. I wish it was either the same length, so they were both shorter, both longer, or something else. The the tiered-ness of it is just not my absolute favorite thing in the world, but I love Dee Dee and I love this look. So, scars for Dee Dee Licious. You are muted as may, my dearest darling. Excuse me, I don't know what that was. <laughs> um, I really like this book. Actually, I like I'm. I think this is a really great color against her skin. I think the hair looks great. I love the tatteredness at the bottom. Why can't I fucking figure that word out <laughs> at the bottom? Um, I like the shoulder pads. I like the necklace. I like. I, I like the draping. It's not my favorite, but I, I don't think I dislike it as much as you do. Um, but I like this look a lot. Um, I'm going to give it um, an eight. An 80, not an eight. <laughs> Could you imagine eight. if you're like, I love this. I think it's lovely. Eight. eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I would give you a zero, but that's not possible. So I'm going to give you the one. <laughs> no. Uh, no um, I like the outfit. Um, no, I like the garment. So eighty-four. Ninety-five. Ninety-six. Ninety-seven. Okay. I don't know why. I'm not gonna that. continue the trend. I'm so I don't sorry. know why I was gonna do that. <laughs> I don't know either. Um I, I'm not gonna continue that trend. I'm gonna give it a ninety. Cool. Work. Work. Next up, Ginger Johnson, 34, from County Durham. Uh, I love how many different, like, not everyone's from London this season. I love it. Um, they're all from they're England. All from though. England. There you are, all from England. <laughs> um, from the Meet the Queens, we find out that Ginger's been doing drag for 15 years. Um, her specialty is in theater, cabaret, and karaoke, which she said is a death trap. Um, <laughs> She likes to take very serious things and present them in a very ridiculous way. And she said she loves the challenge. So the ultimate challenge for her in drag is Drag Race. So happy you're here, Ginger. Um, she is my dark horse. I think she's going to do really well. Um, I don't even know if dark horse is the right term for it, but I definitely think she's going to do well. She reminds me of a British cop, Miss Kasha Davis. Um, so... She also does stuff with puppets, so I'm hoping she can bring a puppet to the stage. Oh, I no. <laughs> Lana, everybody loves puppets. That's what they tell me. Lana. That's everybody what they tell me. Puppets. But oh, everybody Lana. loves puppets. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Except Lana. <laughs> I actually, I don't like puppets either. You're fine. Except <laughs> Lana and Kev. Thank Thank <laughs> everybody loves puppets. Um, I'm excited for her. I think, like, I love a good, good old campy queen. Um, I'm, I'm excited for her. I definitely, she seems like up my alley of a queen that I'm gonna root for, a queen that I'm gonna fall in love with, a queen that I'm gonna be like devastated if she comes home. And I just want her to do well. I want her to do well. Bring her home, mama, bring her home. <laughs> That's mama. I, <laughs> I absolutely adore her, as you probably expected. I love the like, uh, kooky uh, queens that don't just, you know, like, I love comedy queens. She's not a comedy queen outright, but she's very funny, and I appreciate that about her. Uh, and as you are well aware, I love me some James Mansfield, so any queen with a puppet, I'm here for. Um, also, um, yeah, I, I love, like, I love the hair. Love the hair. The hair's great. I'm not going to be negative and talk about the outfit, but I love the hair. Um, <laughs> but um yeah um you went yeah. ahead and ripped Dee Dee's outfit apart and then you can't talk about this one i didn't 
Ruby Pearl out for the party. I said it was good. I said she was giving first boot, but I, she's, I said it was good. I gave her an 85. Um, yeah, but um, I love her a lot. I definitely think she's going to go far. Uh, yeah, Ginger Johnson. I love how just now there's just going to be a Jerry Hallowell on every season, like no matter what. <laughs> There is going to be at least one Jerry Halliwell. On Not that. There, there's going to be one. Like, we just got to talk about it. Like, like there's, go, like, there's going to be some kind of, like, representation of Spice Girl from the UKs. And as someone who loves the Spice Girls, especially when it comes to Paul, Yes. Um, she's wearing my favorite color, even though the shirt is cool tone purple and the pants are warm tone purple, which I find very interesting. Um, I wish that they were a smidge longer. I don't mind the shoes. I like that the shoes and the button bring it together, but I wish that there was the a shoes. big white belt that just like went around the front of it. Um, and, but like, I don't know. I want to like this outfit. I unfortunately do not love the hair. Um, Mira Mangle, you look fantastic. I'm going to give this. Oh wait, I can't give a score. Not yet. Don't say it yet. Um, <laughs> I will say this. Like, I I do agree. Like, with the two different purple tones, like it's different to say the least. Like, different. like I want to like this as well, but it's just like, eh. But I do I do wish that um the pants were the same color as the the top because i like the top like the top color better than the bottom color um but um love how ref like again ginger spice of course obviously because everything um but yeah um we'll see how ginger um does we'll see she's a hoot i love her moving on no, she's great. No, that is in the best possible way. She is a hoot. I love her. That's all. She's that's it. She's great. She made me laugh during the Beat the Queen. I like I know that wasn't laugh. supposed to be shady, Lana. It, <laughs> she's it's a hoot. not. She's a moving hoot. On. Moving on. Like Fair. baby. That's it. She's great. I love her. And I don't even care about the two-tone purples. She's wearing purple. So I absolutely love her. You know, having seen Drag Race UK season four, I really hope they call her Copper the whole season. Um, I think that would be no, very Oh, don't do that. They called Copper Ginger all damn season. Anyway. I know. Um, I, I really enjoy Ginger as well. Um, I am going to talk about the two-tone purple because it, I'm not as bothered by it as I thought I would be, honestly. Um, it's not my favorite. I do wish everything was the same color um, or like a bigger contrast in color, but I do really enjoy this look. I think it's bold to do pants for a promo and I'm kind of here for it. Thank you, Brandon, for finding it because I don't want to try to find it right now. But oh my God, it's pants. Like I was really thrilled <laughs> seeing the promo and I was like, oh my God, it's pants. Like, hello. And I do love, I do love good, solid pants and drag and these pants fit her like a glove. I do love it. Um, I like that the heel is white to to go with the hair, and I do like that she's wearing ginger hair in her promo. So I I like it. I I like it. I like her. I like it. I like all of it. Scores for ginger. I love her hair. She does look like she's going to an office party dressed as grimace. Um, but <laughs> Girl, stop reading right now. Not grimace. It's not grimace. But because... he just wanted to enjoy his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I still, I can't lie. I don't like it. I was trying to lie. <laughs> should I, should um, I bring up the should I bring up the the banner it's... already? No, that's me. What's the banner? I don't Are even you know what pleading. The... What is your score, Esme? Oh, I'm not pleading. Sorry, I'm gonna give her a sensible 20. Ooh, that's not sensible at all. <laughs> a sensible 20. Also, first to go off, oh my god, it's p 
pants caught me totally off guard. Oh my god, his pants! <laughs> I'm thrilled! What, what caught his me pants! Up, what caught me off guard was I was looking up Grimace, and then I started to search up, like, something came up as, Grimace is the biggest criminal in this movie. Oh, stop, stop it! Uh, stop it right oh. now. Bro- Brooke, you're Brooke. <laughs> Okay. Um... You know, I look at it a little bit more. I like it a little bit more now than I did like five minutes ago. Um, I will say I do love the puffy, puffy sleeve, puffy shoulder of it all. I'm here for that. It's giving like '80s businesswoman. Um, <laughs> so I'm here for that too. Um, I'm gonna give it an 80 only because I don't like the pants not either going further or there being like something to cover like that part of the heel area. But like other than that. I'm going to give it a 65. 70. 80. I like her a lot, uh, but for the garment, uh, I'm going to give it a sensible 74. So I'm just a cunt. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's what you sir. Moving on. Next up, Kate Butch. Uh, 26 from Great name. Derbyshire. I know I'm saying that wrong. Oh. Uh, that was horrible. I'm trying yeah, not sure. to say Derbyshire like a like an American. I'm from uh, Derbyshire. <laughs> from Derby. Darby. That's all I'm saying. From Derby. That's all I'm saying. Kate, I'm so sorry. Uh, to the people of Derby, I'm so sorry. Um, but she said that her drag style was like if a Hollywood starlet had a migraine. Which I think is one of the best things I've ever heard on Drag Race. Um, <laughs> she has the body of a 26 year old, but the mindset of a mid 60s uh, woman. Uh, she is also a very theater and performance based queen, and she's incredibly competitive. AKA, she is me. She threw she on is me. me. She said she threw a Monopoly board across the room. She is me because I have also thrown a Monopoly board across. <laughs> So I'm learning how to lie Kate Butch. I have been mood. I've been lying to you this whole time. I am act- actually Kate Butch. Where are you from again? My house. <laughs> My house. That's me, please. I'm okay. stop the madness. Um. Look, I had something witty and something to say, but fuck you, Kev. Uh, um, I'm excited for her. I love the name Kate Butch. Um, yes, yes. She looks a little startled in her, like, whoo, whoo. I'm not saying. Like, it looks like she didn't know there was going to be a flash, um, and she got startled by the flash. Um, Oh it's, the, it's the who me hand for me. It's me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yes, yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead. It's the right in front of my salad face. Um but I'm excited for her. I think she's gonna be fun. Um I'm excited for all of these queens and I'm blurry now. Okay. Um but yeah, I, I don't have much to fully say about her compared to some of the other queens. I think she'll be fun. I think she, I don't know how far she'll go, but I think she'll be fun. I have something to say about this lip, but I'll wait until we have um, ratings. Um, okay, so quick question. Is that like a pants moment, a jumpsuit, a pants suit? I can't really tell. I believe it is a suit. pants suit with the attached sleeve, the attached hip, and the attached draping on the left side. Okay, that was what I was getting to, but I want to make sure I wasn't crazy. I believe uh, so. Well then, oh my god, it's pantsuit! Um, regardless. <laughs> oh my god, it's pantsuit! <laughs> <laughs> this is my new favorite gag. Okay. Um, I like the bell bottom of it all. Um, I, oh I'm god. just I'm just here for it. I don't know why, but the, it, it, the garment is garmenting. Uh, love Kate, love the name. The name is delightful. Um, and yeah, I hope she does really well. <laughs> love Kate Butch, but mama, that hard front is running up that hairline. Ooh. Oh, 
It is Bye. running up. Like, Mama, that is a harsh line. That is a hair hat. I appreciate the kid. I think that's the point. I think that's the point. Like, running up that hair line. She, does, she, she looks very... That's running up that hairline. Um, <laughs> like, it... Mama... Like, I'm not going to say, Mama, this is garbage, because it's not garbage. I actually really like it. But, like, it's that tacky 80s look. Like, she looks like the mom from Stranger Things, and I'm kind of obsessed with that. Like, um, oh, what's the boy? Not not the not the one that's, like, involved with all the paranormal Not ones. the one who has Mac. Mike's mom. Mike and Nancy's <laughs> Oh, mom. yeah. Yeah, I, I see it. Like, like, a drag version of Mike and Nancy's mom. Like, she would play... Mike, Mike and Nancy's mom in the drag version of Stranger Things. Watch there be a drag Stranger Things this season. There was drag Squid Games last season. Who knows? I wouldn't Maybe, even be surprised. But who knows? Who knows? Okay, can we let's compare Death Stairs really quick. <laughs> so, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, no, no but no, Kev, I think this is the first time you made me laugh cry on this podcast. So that's that, a that. read. I think a lot of people laugh probably all the time, especially Logan when I talk about the cold summer sales event. So like <laughs> I mean when I when I put this up, everyone got caught off guard. <laughs> so anyways. Um I again love Kate Butch, like already just like the name gives personality, and I'm ready to see what Kate Butch will give to me. So and We'll see how this goes in the draft. So we'll we'll just say that. I love her. I love her. I just do. I love this blue. I don't know how I feel about the suit. I feel like one pants leg is bigger than the other pant leg. I don't know if that's just the way she's standing or what. I don't know. But I don't know. It's just weird. But I love it, though. I kind of am living for it. The wig, uh, the hairline, no. No. Everything else I can deal with. I'm trying not to worry about her pose and her face in it because yeah. You know. But her Instagram is kind of it's 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 giving. It's giving. I'm interested to see what she brings. She's hilarious to me. I, I she she made me laugh and not everybody did that. I think she's gonna be hilarious. I don't know what her time on the show is going to be like, but I think we're gonna enjoy every second she's there. So that's that. That was kind of the exact same thing I was going to say, Lana. Is like, I think for whatever time she is there, we're going to be entertained. That's what I got from her, for sure. Mm -hmm. um, I love, like I said earlier, Hollywood Starlet with a migraine. Because, again, hi. That's me. I am Kate Butch. Um, it's you. It sure is. Um, the garment, you know, as I'm looking at it more... Um, I do kind of like the pantsuit with things added. I would have taken off the skirt part. And I think just with the flouncy shoulder and the draping coming off the left side, I think I would have liked it a little bit more. Um, the wig, no comment. Um, but I do really like Kate. So uh, garment comments from Esme and then scores. Okay. Um, my score, my garments, my garment comments are... This reminds me, um, hopefully you guys know the reference, um, of something the Dean from the community would wear. Um, so fair. So, well, you guys don't know who that is. He, um, but that's not a bad thing. It's, it, he's an interesting character, but it's not a bad thing. Um, I still like this look. The wig, yeah. I'm gonna give this, a solid 75. Um, okay, I actually really like it. Um, I can't see the hairline because of the recording block in the corner, so I'm just going to pretend like it's perfect. Um, regardless, uh, because of that, I am really enjoying this promo look, so I am going to give it a 95. I'm going to agree with that, my 75. 80. 78. Eh, eh. <laughs> eh, eh. Next up, Michael Maruli. 
39, originally from Newcastle, but has been living in Grand Canaria for 17 years and working as a drag artist there for 15. Um, half of her Meet the Queens was her translating things into Jordy, which I'm going to be honest, I enjoyed. Um, <laughs> but we also found out that she is a professional and hates scruffy queens. So, Michael Marut. I am interested in her. I like this look. Um, I think she has a chance to do really well in this season. I think she could go pretty far. Um, she entertained me a little bit. I think she'll be interesting. I think, yeah, she's just interested to see. Um, has been doing drag for a while. Started at my age, I believe. When I, um, cause it says I was about 22 when she started drag. Um, so I'm excited for her. I think she, there's something about her that intrigues me. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I think she'll be very interesting to watch as this season goes on and hopefully she'll be around for a bit to, to see that. Do you, do you want to give your thoughts on the garment now, Esme, so we don't have to go back around? I will give her th my thoughts, her thoughts, my thoughts. God, I'm losing my fucking mind. Um, I like this look. I, um, there's a lot going on and it's a look, but I can see what she was trying to go for. I wish she just took, you know, two things off. I don't know what the two things I want her to take off would be. I can't tell if that's like roses in her hair or if it's just part of the wit, like if it's part red and part black. So in it's this... all it's all rainbow. Okay. So it's uh, all okay, rainbow yeah. colors in that sort of um think the like sculpted glitter wig, but all of the wig is the glittered part of sculpted glitter wig. Okay. In rainbow color. I like how the body the, the top of this outfit comes and curves in a little bit. I love this kind of green on her skin tone. It looks great. I like the gold parts of the gold applique. I think this the like arm cuffs with the fur is a little distracting but beyond that i still like this outfit and I'm, and i love I, and i love the shoes the shoes the shoes the shoes um yeah i love this outfit it's giving me poison ivy riddler um and i'm really here for it uh michael is definitely somebody that i could see doing really well it's one of those people that I can't decide if they're going to be like a mid boo or like a late boo or like, you know, where, uh, but I definitely think we're going to see more of Michael than like one or two episodes. Uh, and yeah, I love this outfit. Love, 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 love this outfit. I really, I really like this outfit too. I think it's really cute. I like the snakes. I like the, that I love the boot. I love that it's custom. Um, I love that it matches the corset, and I love that it goes, like, right up into the hair. It feels very cohesive. Like, very much enjoy it. Um, it almost feels very Spanish to me, and I really like that. Where's Grand Canary? Is that Canary Islands? Yes. Oh, so she's, like... She's been, she's been living and working, basically, in Spain for 15 years. Okay, because I was going to say she's giving very Spain. Yep. Like, very Spanish... Like, I really like it, though. Like, what, but what is it with these Spanish queens coming and doing UK and not getting money? No, she's British. Originally. Yeah, I know. But I'm saying, I, like... I, I agree with you, but... Girl, she can get money on Spain, though. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Anyways, mm -hmm. though, I love her. She's cunty. <laughs> Something about this to me, because, like, I can't tell, because, like, I love the snake vibe, but... Will she be a snake this season? Who Ooh. knows? <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, like I love like how like she's giving like I love this headpiece. Um, I do agree. Two things could be taken off here, like something along the wrist. Like it's I can't tell what that's supposed to be, but like you, you know, or the forearm. Whereas mm -hmm. like the, those could be those could go, but. Otherwise, love the fringe, love everything, but we'll see how this goes. Because, like, yeah, but we'll see. Uh, 
Okay. I like this outfit. I like this outfit. I like this look. What I will say, going through this Instagram, I'm nervous. And this is why I'm nervous. Because I feel like every look could be this look. This bodysuit look with something and things. Because that's what I'm normal what I'm seeing mostly doing. But they look good. They look good. They're good looking bodysuits, but we might get a lot of bodysuits. And I'm okay. It's all right if they're good. And I will say this for my my um thirst written fans on the panel. This is a good looking man out of drag. This is a good looking man out of drag. I, I'm like, oh my. Like I haven't looked, but I think I will. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh. 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 Uh-huh. Yeah. Ooh. Who are we going to research today? I was about to say, even I stopped and was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Y'all caught your water. You better yeah. be drinking it. Because this is a good looking no, man out of drag. And like, he's one of the oh first few people that I've looked, actually looked at, looked at him out of drag. So it could be some other good looking people out of drag. I just didn't look. But this one, this picture just was like right at the top. He's good looking. So, period. I think I'm excited for Michael. Um, I think they're going to give us some fun time. Like he seems like somebody who's just gonna give me a good, like the workroom stuff. He's just gonna keep people in stitches, laughing at his at his interpretations and his accents and all of that stuff. I think it's gonna be a good time, and so I'm excited to see Michael. And he got some really good makeup looks too. So if they can do these makeup looks on the show, oh, we're in for a treat. To know that Michael's been very successful in Grand Canaria is testament to how great of a drag artist they are. I don't really need to know anything else to know that they are incredibly successful. Like, to know that is to know that they are a great drag artist. I love this look. We've seen this kind of motif done before, and I think this may be my favorite way that it's been done. Um, I really love the this take on the glitter sculpted wig. I'm still tired of them, but again, I have to remember this was filmed in a very specific period of time. So I get it. Um, I love the makeup. I love the garment. I love the stakes coming off on, you know, the chest area, the way the corset is fit, the fringe. It, I, oh, I love it. 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 Scores for Michael. I'm going to. Sorry, I'm gonna give Michael a 78, 77. Um, my cup is full. I love this actually. Um, uh, my cup is full as well. Small comment. Um, Logan, you have to remember this is the promo. This was done recently. Not necessarily. From 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 what we know about Drag Race UK, though, this is probably very very recent. True. Or there's one of two scenarios. Either they filmed this after they filmed the first episode, or they filmed this recently. This I don't know recent, which. This feels recent, just based on okay. the quality. Sure. Fair. Yeah. Um, my cup is also full here. I'm going to give this a 93. Uh, my cup is also full. Next up, Miss Naomi Carter. Say what I said. Hold on. This is just not the same other challenge, by the way. <laughs> Did I already lose? Yep. Probably. Already lost. Yes, you already <laughs> lost. Probably. Even though you muted, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> Naomi is 23 from Doncaster. We find out this is her fourth time applying. She's been applying since season two. Uh, she called herself the Beyonce of Doncaster. Uh, she's been doing drag for about five years, and she talked a lot about being half Gambian and wanting to express that throughout all of her drag uh, presentation. So, I <clears throat> I really like this look. I like the um, three Mickey Mouses on her head. Um, I love this green color, like emerald color, against her with paired with this yellow. I think this is a very fun color. I wish. I, love, I think that my favorite part is like the jacket. I wish the bodysuit itself had a little bit more pizzazz to it. But yeah, I like this. Um, 
I'm excited for her. She has a, she had a good energy. She was one. She was I think like the first. One. She was second I think in the promo video, and she excited me. Um, and I think she'll be very fun to watch, and I hope that she goes far. Something about me, I'm a little worried she's going to be out earlier. I don't know why. There's just something that I'm getting similar to Brooke with um. I don't know who it was. DD. I just I don't think she'll be first boot, but I think she could go out like within the first four episodes. Um, I hope that she proves me wrong because I'm excited for her, but I just have like that that gut feeling. Yeah, um, I will go ahead and just lose the don't say mother challenge. This is mother, okay? Uh, she is serving here five years. Sure, five years isn't a lot of time. Yeah, th that exactly, Buck there. Um, love the updo. Um, it's giving. It's also giving interesting angular movement on that wig. Let's be honest. Um, but yeah, but she's uh, fantastic. Honestly, probably my biggest standout for Meet the Queens. Um, like, the one I'm remembering the most was Naomi. Um, and also, I love a queen who uses their heritage and, like, uses that as a point of reference in their drag and makes that a big point of what they are as a drag performer. Because they, like, it's just so interesting to me. Because, I mean, Gambia is a country I bet you half of the fan base here has never heard of, much less, you know, being able to, like, reference it in drag so it's really awesome to see i'm really excited to watch her i like her i love her energy i love this bodysuit um i think that her sense of humor is like right up my alley there's always one queen that always stands out in the uk promos for me and this season it was her like i really enjoy her energy her charisma in that way of like how she speaks and like just is really just reminiscent of what i love about uk drag that they look gorgeous and that they will literally talk in these like not even because they're british just in the stupidest way like they know that they're having fun and that it's camp like love it love her excited to see what she does um i love like the little like the bodysuit with little drapey bits um, love the hair. Hope she wins. Actually, hope she wins. You can tell in this promo here, like the energy she's gonna give. Like, it's like she exudes that energy that I'm ready to see. Like, I, I'm gonna like, I'm ready to like see her personality like on TV. And I love this hair. Like, do I need to say more? Like <laughs> that hair, she did what needed to be done and this green moment uh like <laughs> of course if she like if it's referencing beyonce green light obviously so ah, this bodysuit is one of the best bodysuits i've seen in a long time from some people it's so good um i love that she put it on top with that fur um jacket with the it's it's just good. It's just good. She looks good. I love that it goes with the shoe. Like the shoe covers the body. The bodysuit goes into the shoe. It all covers and all comes together. And then the hair. We talked about it. The braids. Those are braids, by the way. If you don't realize, those are braids, all wrapped around to make Mickey Mouse face and ear, like head and ears. Like that's so dang good and talented. I can't wait to see her. Um, one thing, the only thing I will say about her Instagram is that I don't know if she, she, she's, she's giving me very fly girl, very like streetwear kind of queen. And so I hope that she can, you know, translate all of that, like give her, her, her style on the runway, like to the point where they understand her as a queen. Like if that's her style, if she's going to be very streetwear and, you know, urban life. I hope they can understand it and she can present it in a way where they get it and that she's successful because I want to see her. And I don't want them to compare and come and pit her and Carmela to Caramella, Caramel, Caramel. Caramel. I'm thinking wrestling. Oh my God. Because it's a girl named Carmela. But yeah, thinking, <laughs> I'm think, uh, between her and Car Caramel, I don't want them to pit them together. I don't want them to 
compare them together just because they are the only two and they could have maybe almost similar styles with their you know urban wear and street wear kind of looks but i just want her she just excited me in the meet the queens i was like ah oh, like or, like as i say she was the second one and i was like oh oh we this is what we doing uk this is this is the drag we got going on in the uk okay i'm excited because y'all this is my first time watching uk so i'm like same is is this what we got going on uk is this the kind of drag we got mm -hmm. to make me look forward to that i'm looking forward to it so consistently from the black queens on drag race uk yes oh, okay this well is, this, this is, is what we got oh yeah yeah very um i'm I'm worried now that you've said that her style is urban and streetwear because I am reminded of one specific black queen from a few seasons ago who had a very similar style from what you're saying and they did not give her the time of day. Asina? Absolutely. She won a challenge in an ASOS jacket though. True, but we all saw how that ended. Yeah. What I will say about Naomi, mm -hmm. I'm very excited. I'm yeah. very excited for what I've seen of Naomi so far. She also, for me, in a very similar way to Dee Dee, is mixing pretty and stupid. And I mean that in the most loving way possible. Because you can tell she does not take herself seriously. And she looks incredible doing it. Um, I'm a big fan of this entire garment. The, the braid hair hat wig. Oh is incredible mm -hmm. um this pose the expression all of it together for me is just so well done i'm very impressed i'm very excited to see naomi and all of these girls quite frankly so scores for miss naomi carter <clears throat> i'm gonna give naomi carter uh an 88 i really like this look this is the one time the one exception the singular exception to the bodysuit rule. Okay. <laughs> the only one. That. The yeah. only one. I was waiting my for that cup, comment from you, Brooke. I was waiting. Not only is my cup full, my cup is fucking overflowing. Period. This is stunning. Period. I was waiting on that from you. Uh huh. Y'all already know what I'm going to say, Mama. This is Condola. <laughs> <laughs> this is Condola. I love it. I love it. Like overflowing, giving Ocean Gate, all that. Oh my god. Not Ocean Gate. Oh, some of y'all haven't heard that. They have not. Oh, um, Mama, the cup's down by the submarine, Mama. It is Ocean Gate. It's down to oh, that Logitech honey. controller, girl. It is Ocean <laughs> Gate. My cup is overflowing. My cup is still down at the bottom of the ocean, but Peach and the Titanic, it is there. It is still there. And, and, and Kiana, and with her jellyfish, and all of the... You've oh, mentioned my. one other person down there as Who, well. Who's down there? Uh, Cat Cat. With that gold look. Oh, That's yeah. Cat Cat, Cat Cat is down there with that gold look. That gold look is down there yes. with Cat Cat with it's Kiana. deserved, though. It is well-deserved. Well-deserved. With Cat Cat and the gold, with Kiona and the jellyfish and the purple, with Peach and the Titanic that he bought all the way to the Titanic. And the Titanic is down there. Baby is down there. Perk. Oh, love it. <laughs> duh. Duh. Give it to duh. me, baby. Give it to me, baby. Give me, give me a duh. Give me a duh. 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 Obviously. So good. No, so I don't good. think we need it. We don't nah. need it. Duh. We don't need it. We don't, it. we don't need it. It's no. so obvious. Duh. No. Right. Duh. It's so <laughs> obvious. Oh, no. I've dropped my cup to the bottom of the ocean, too. <gasps> oh. Wait a minute. Do we have a group? Do we have a group agreement? I think we have a group of duhs in this one, like a group of of duh. 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 That's like the third time we have. Have we ever all fold? It's been a hot minute. It's been a very hot minute. Very long. Not this usually, full panel. Because full T David's usually here to not give things a full. Um, <laughs> or, I, or everybody loves it, and then I'm like, and then, no. Okay. And then yeah, I'm like, like, everybody's like. I hate, I hate it. it. And then I'm like, <laughs> and then I not me with Kahana's banana. Yells at me. <sighs> Anyways, not me with Kahana's banana. Unfortunately, uh, we we do have to move on from Miss. Oh yeah, because we have more people. Um, there's yeah, two, two more. more. We have, we two have more. more people. <gasps> and the first of those two more is Tamara Thomas, not mm -hmm. to be confused mm -hmm. with Pamara Fifth. 
<laughs> um, Kamara you are pleading her. No, absolutely not. Mm. Well, no, I'm kidding. Well. Tamara, Tamara, Tamara is 25. Tamara Tiff. The Tamara. Oh, I hate you. Tamara's 25 <laughs> from Hartlepool, which is a city I've never heard of. Um, but regardless, um, she is a high energy girl. She's a brunch gal. She is another musical theater queen. Um, and she was just giving high energy. You don't know what she's going to say next. She doesn't even know what she's going to say next. So, Tamara Thomas. I just know she listens to Charlie XCX and Kim Petras. Um, <laughs> I, she was interesting. She's not standing out to me as much as I want her to. Um, I like this wig. This outfit is an outfit. Um, and I wish her the best. I don't know what if my mom taught me if I don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So, Brooke, I, then I shouldn't talk, right? Mm. Uh, Ooh. <laughs> craft store, craft store. <laughs> Five below. Oh, yeah. Y'all, the theme is chocolate candies in a metallic wrapping. Like, what do you expect? Is Not that, craft it, store. I like this. Oh, no. Except that she looks like one of those bitches from Game of Thrones, the way she's staring mm -hmm. at me, though. You know, like, with the, like the, the blue ones? I don't know. I've never watched Game of Thrones. But, you know, like, they have, like, she has no... I thought like, you were saying this outfit. <laughs> no, her face. I'm talking about the outfit. Craft store. Craft yeah, store. But I'm just saying, like, the way she's posing, like, it's very menacing. Very like, menacing. She has no eyes. Like, it's just white all over. And she's just like, and honestly, like, though, work. Mm -hmm. I, I like her. Mm -hmm. The pose she's giving is reminding me of what Anitra did for the Heaven Challenge. Absolutely mm -hmm. nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but. But y'all, like, um, I I do see where she was going with this because like it's taking the theme literal. Because when we first saw the preview of what this theme was, we were just like, what? <laughs> However, like, it's giving. Like, what exactly is that? Surprisingly. And hopefully, it's not chocolate. Yeah, no, literally, I was just like, I was like so confused, and I was just like, okay, like, I'll take candy wrapper, but not please not let it be chocolate. Because it's chocolate, but not that, not that, but but yeah, this is kind of giving for me. Like at first, I thought I wasn't gonna like this because like I saw like all like the different details of like the plastic wrapping, but at the same time, like this concept is giving. So I I'll give it that. So at first, I thought I wasn't going to like it, and then I didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. So, I was just like, I don't know. It's not give. I understand the thing. I do. I get the theme of candy wrapper or chocolate wrapper or whatever. It's just too rudimentary. It's giving the whole, it's very literal. Like everybody's theme isn't very as literal as this is. It's very little. It's like she just wrapped plastic around herself and put a bow on it. And it's like, if you're going to do that, like, then give me the top of the candy wrapper. Like, that headpiece should be, like, twist tied up at the top so it can make it look like it's a full can. Like, I don't, it's just not giving everything. I don't know. But I'll say her Instagram, if we're going to get some mugs from this one, if this one can pull it off in the time because she can do some makeup, and I'm excited about that. Like, I was like, okay, girl, okay. But then I started scrolling, and I was like, okay, girl, okay. Instagram looks is going to be something. Her Instagram is something else. So I, I can't, mm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. The mug is go mug. Okay, what, did you, what, did you, what was that? Mama, this oh, is weird Barbie. Uh, weird Barbie? This is Weird Barbie. Okay. Like, in the best way, she's giving Weird Barbie, and I'm obsessed with it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not wrong. Anyway, sorry, I had that revelation, like, halfway through. You're not wrong, but yeah. 
Yeah. This is a dress made of materials that is on her body. Fashion? No. 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 Couture? No. no. Barely hanging on? Yes. Just about. <laughs> The I'm judges seem adequately amused with what they are looking at. Looking at. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you all for having me. Try with that um, here's what I will say. I don't love the look. I, I, it's literal, and I do appreciate that there was a literal interpretation of the theme. With that being said, it's not my absolute favorite thing in the world, but I like her a lot. I really like Tamara. She's giving me that same kind of manic, over-the-top energy that I have. <laughs> and it, it feels very close to home. Um, she reminds me of a lot of the people that I hang out with in my oh. everyday life. Uh, oh. She reminds me of Esme. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it, but I'll say it. Um, no, I knew. I knew what you I knew. I... What, Lana? I'm, I'm sorry. I just looked at the, her, the picture, this picture on her. Is, I love her headpiece, by the way. It's lollipops. Yeah. I didn't oh, realize yeah. those are lollipops in her oh, Yeah, I saw it in the Meet the Queens. They're little ladies. Lollipops. They're like they're little ladies. ladies. I was like, oh, they're like, they're what? Oh, lollies. Yeah. Lollies. 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 But yeah, lollies. I was like, oh, that's kind of cute because I just looked at yes. it in the thingy. But I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, you're fine. That's really all I had to say about tomorrow. Um, <laughs> Go with on. the lays? Not the Not lays. With the lays. Not lays. Oh, Taylor. Love, you. love Taylor. Okay. Tomorrow, tomorrow though. Of course. That's me. I just remembered what this look is reminding me of. It's uh -huh. reminding me of Jeremy Carey's bitch ball look of the daytime dog park where they had that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh no. I um it's definitely better than that. Um, but the bar was set very low with that look, so um, she jumped. She jumped over the bar and landed at about like thirty feet, so thirty. Hmm. I hope that makes Weed. sense. I don't think it did. Oh, okay. You pleaded. Please. Please. No, I said no. I no, 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 no. Brooke, Brooke did. I uh -huh. legitimately cannot find a sink. Oh, maybe the mug, but like the actual garment. Oh. Ew. Okay. Oh, not so okay. bad. Okay. They got off the bitch this round. <laughs> All right. So, like, not to be a bitch, but you guys are really annoying because this is a ninety-five. All right. I really like this. I I can't tell you why. It has a silhouette. I like the silhouette. Work, diva. Hmm. Again, I I like the literal idea. So that's. That's why I'm I'm trying to like it's this hard to score for me. I'll give this seventy five. I don't hate it. I just didn't love it. But I love the headpiece. So therefore, this looks gets an eighty five for me. I think balancing everything out honestly for me, I'm gonna give it a seventy five as well. Oh yeah. That seems about right. Now this and look last, uh, Vicky <laughs> Vivacious, thirty six from Cornwall. Uh, she is a farm queen. Uh, she used five words to describe her drag, which are fun, flirty, fabulous, glamorous, and Cornish. Um, she is a glamour puss with the mouth of Carrie Katona. Therefore, I am very excited for her. Um, and she is. Guess what, y'all? A musical theater queen. They typecasted a few people this season. Weaponize that BFA. <laughs> Vicky Vivacious. That's me. I really like this color. This I'm a I'm a slut for this kind of color. Um I this if if I could pick my casket, it would be this color. Thank you very much. Um but you want the ten year old bedroom color. For her casket. Yes, because I don't have to look at it. <laughs> All of you do. <laughs> um, I, again, she looks a little startled, but um, I also, ooh, I love, I'm just noticing the hair, and I really love how the hair frames her face with this. I love the hat. I don't remember all too much from her promo look, and um, from her promo video, so I'm not going to talk too much about that, because I don't fully remember that part. 
but um, I love this look. I love the one leg <laughs> popping out. Um, no, um, yeah, I think this is a good look. I'm gonna pass it over to Brooke. I effing love this look. This is fantastic. Uh, the color palette is very much giving me like saltwater taffy. Uh, I'm here for that. Um, I love the hair. I love the hat or headpiece or whatever we're calling it this week. It's like half a hat. Um, I love the 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 one leg. I it, great look again. In the mid, the queens not one of the more memorable people for me, but this outfit was fantastic. I really like her. It, wait, I I genuinely thought is she from Ireland? Because I genuinely thought she was from Ireland. No, 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 darling. Everyone's from England this year. Cornwall. Cornfield. Cornwall. 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 Where is that? England. No, I'm not but, British. I mean, but the Duke and De the Prince and the uh the, the King and the Queen are the king the people of Cornwall. So yeah. I don't know, but it's a city in England. It's a city in England. Okay. Yeah. Cause I don't know, her accent sounds almost Irish, but I like her. She's cool. Um I love I mean honestly her humor gets a 69 out of 69. So uh, like nice and nice. Like Cornwall very. is Cornwall is at the very bottom of the UK, the southwest of the UK. Oh, okay, so Welsh, it, almost Welsh. Yeah, okay, yeah, Cornwall. almost Welsh. Yeah, mm. yeah. I like it though. She's cool. Love the heel. Love the legs. Um, love the hair. Very vintage, classic. Throw it in a blender. Work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. No, this is very classic. Like, the whole fringe moment is, like, giving old Hollywood glamour in the best way possible. Like, and he, looking at this name, Vicky Vivacious, like, I'm I'm just, like, a lot of these names, like, just by the name, I'm already excited for you. <laughs> like, like for um, Kate Butch, Vicky Vivacious, um, Caramel, like, yeah, it's giving. And... Again, face is serving as always. So, I love this. This was one of the people that stood out to me. I was like, ah, love. And then I made the mistake of looking at Miss Vicky Vivacious's Instagram, and nope, not don't 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 not in the shock way, in a very good way. And Vicky Vivacious is another very good looking man. I'm a very like we gonna have some really good looking people out of drag this season. I just can't handle it. I can't. I'm fucking I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. Like I was looking at this picture and looking at this drag picture, and I'm like, these are the same people. I'm yeah. That, the face shape is giving it for me. Yeah, it's so literally so dang hot. And I was Yo, like, oh, water. I really want some of these drag men who's already like very good looking to be straight at once. That's all I'm asking is for these good looking drag people just to be straight once. So or I even did, bisexual or pansexual. even well, they, they were there was one straight one. I, Maddie. I have, I've I not know. I've not seen them. I just want one that looks like this. Because my God. But he has very good. He has a nice husband that I see is very, very much taken. But yeah, but the drag, his pictures are great. Instagram's great. His, his specialty is wigs, so he does wigs. So we go get some him. good wigs from this one. I'm excited. I can't wait. And mm, yep, hope you do very well this season, Vicky, because I would like to see you more out of drag and in drag because you look beautiful in drag. This dress is stunning. This promo shop, I think this is one of my favorite, most most favorite promos of this. One of them. One of my favorite promos. I'm going to agree with you, Lana. This is one of my favorite promos. I think for the look and for the pose, because yeah. I love it. It's very that, who me, again, that we saw from right. Kate um, with the leg out. I think the garment is is on the more simple side, but I think it's incredibly effective for mm -hmm. her and for what sh for the drag that she's doing. So I really enjoy it in that regard. I love the ostrich feather just down into the train, the hat, 
the glove, it all comes together in such a beautiful way. And I love how the top is draped too, because we don't normally see that kind of like plunging draping with a gown that looks like this. So I do really enjoy that. Um, I really liked her in the Meet the Queens. I think she's going to bring, I think similarly to a lot of the queens that we've seen on this season, I think for the time that she's there, she's going to be entertaining. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the overall theme of this season is like, I think we are going to be entertained in every facet of the word entertainment. Like, I'm very excited for all of this. And I'm very excited for Vicky. So, scores for Vicky. I'm going to give Vicky, I really like this look. My cup is full. My cup is also full. 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 Duh. Duh. <laughs> two and one. Yes. Two and one. Come on two now. Episode. We're setting. New, we're breaking ground here. They Good did. For us. They did what needed to be done with this promo. A lot they of did. a couple of them yeah. did. Just not all yeah, of them. I said a couple of them. A couple of them did. A couple of them did what yes. needed to be done. Mm -hmm. All right. It's time draft. <sighs> I'm a giraffe. Lana, you voluntarily sat out of the draft. I know. I did. Mm -hmm. Because and I was going to win again. As the current reigning draft champion, uh, <laughs> Lana has so graciously decided to not participate in this draft to let me participate, and I really appreciate it. Um, <laughs> so thank you, Lana. Um, with that being said, I'm going to share my screen, and we are going to spin the wheel. Nope. Random. No. Let's, go random. Let's go random.org. Let's go random.org. I'm not trying to make this video two full hours. We are doing a random.org. Fine. Uh, and because it is Drag Race UK season five, I'm going to be randomizing it five times. Yep. Because I, I can. So let's go. Are we ready? Let's let's go. Go. Okay. One, two, three. Four. All right. I love how I just was like third, second, 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 first. Okay, work. I think I was at fourth the whole time and then went down to fifth. No, I, I was first <laughs> twice. I will I gladly first take once. mine because I was and never first. So. I, will, I will also gladly take I've mine. I've only ever been first and second to last, I think. I mean, now, not first. I mean, second to last. I have last. always well, been you like get last. Both at the same time as are we doing? Are we doing snake? Or? Yes, yes, for sure. So okay. the order for the draft is going to be Kev, Brandon, me, Brooke, Esme, Esme, Brooke, myself, Brandon, Kev. So Kev will get one choice. And then left with the last <laughs> will be choice. left with the last choice. So has Kev, one choice and then choices. <laughs> All right, Kev. You get the. All right, sorry. I'm just pulling up the whole cast just so I can remember, because I want to okay. make sure I have like. All right. I'm between two. I think I want to go with Miss Naomi Carter. All right. Work. Good choice. Good choice. Good great choice. choice. Great choice. Great, great choice. choice. Great choices. Great choices. Good choice. Brandon. All right. My first pick, um, I was eyeing on her from the very beginning, um, Kate Butch. Okay. Damn it. Oh, I think my, my mother no. no, actually, I am going to get my first pick. Okay. Uh, which I'm very excited about. In drafts, when I have the ability to do so, I always like to bank on experience. <laughs> Pun not intended. I'm not picking Big C. Um, <laughs> yet. 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 I know what the girls in Grand Canaria can do. I'm picking Michael. That's a great Good pick. Choice. I'm no, not even great Damn it. Okay. I am so happy because no one picked my number one pick. Yes. Which means I get Ginger Johnson. I am oh, so yes. excited. Yes. yes. All so right. my, fir my first Two picks just went out back to back. Thank you. Oh no! oh no! Oh um, no! Um, hold on. I I will. I can tell you exactly who is left in about five seconds. I know who's left. I'm gonna go okay. with. Well, okay, God. I'm gonna go with Carmel. As you okay. should. Yeah, as, as you, you should. should. And I'm gonna go with. You know what? 
I know Brooke said this is giving first boot, but I'm going to go with Dee Dee Licious. Mm, no, I wanted Dee Dee. I was hoping nobody would pick her. You know, to be honest, afterward, I did kind of feel bad about it. I was going to pick Dee Dee if it got back to me. Dee Dee was still available. Oh, wow. Um, okay, so who's left? Vicky, so Tamara. It's Vicky, Vicky, Tamara, Banksy, and Alexis. Okay. You know, I did boot Tamara, and it is only the promo. I do feel kind of bad about that. <laughs> um, but now I am going to go with Vicky. Okay. I'm picking Chaos. I'm going tomorrow. Okay, good. I, I figured. All right. And then I will pick. Um, all right. Let's see. I believe Alexis the girls. Or, yeah. Alexis or Banksy. Yeah. Between those two. That's rude, but okay. All right, I'll do Banksy. Okay. Well, pick Banksy. I got my I got my third choice. Oh good. I got Alexis. Alexis. I'm very no, I almost that. wanted to do Alexis, and I was just like, you almost you almost robbed the Tampa Queen of the girl with name Saint Pete. <laughs> True. <laughs> so, our draft teams: Team Kev is uh, Miss Naomi Carter and Alexis Saint Pete. Team Brandon is Kate Butch and Banksy. Team Logan is Michael Marulli and Tamara Thomas. Team Brooke is Ginger Johnson and Vicky Vivacious. And Team Esme is Caramel and Dee Delicious. And I'm very impressed with myself. I didn't have to look at a list to remember everyone's last names <laughs> because I thought I was going to forget. So the premiere of Drag Race UK season five is sometime in the near future. <laughs> we don't know. Who yet. knows? <laughs> We will be back before then to do our Instagram review video, as we always do with our premieres. Lana will be judging, which I'm very excited about for that. Uh, and then when the premiere comes out, we will be back shortly after that to talk about the premiere of this season. So thank you so much for joining us for our Drag Race UK Season 5 cast assessment. Uh, make sure to hit all the buttons on your preferred audio or visual platform. And if you hit the dislike, hit it twice. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at The Cut Pod for all of our most up-to-date cut news and our funny moments because we are some funny bitches, as you saw in this episode. Mm -hmm. uh, while you're down there in the <laughs> description, you could follow the six of us because we're lovely and wonderful. And most of us are talking about Big Brother US right now. So if you happen to also enjoy that, that's what most of us are talking about. And while you're down in the description, you could also get your merch. <laughs> Uh, mugs Cut, mug. and several other things um, at logicreations.etsy.com uh, and with all that being said cheers. cheers and this is the most applicable time to say cheers cheers <laughs> <laughs> bye bye now bye bye Adios. cheerio bye bye now bye bye